Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be talking about Ford versus Ferrari. A quick little note about this show, Car Side Reviews. It is not meant to be an in depth breakdown of a movie I just saw. In fact, it's the complete opposite. I get done watching the movie at the theater, I get in my car, and I quickly talk about it as candidly as possible, like you would talk to your buddies about a film. I also want to point out that I saw the movie last night, and I'm filming tonight. I drove away from my house to a, a somewhat lit area to film instead of uh, doing it right after the movie uh, because I got a text from my wife right after my double feature of Charlie's Angels followed up with Ford versus uh, Ferrari that my son Connor was at uh, home puking his brains out and I had to rush home and deal with that. So he's now sleeping and recovering along with the rest of my family and I'm once again out here now doing my little hobby. So as I do this review, know in the back of my mind that there is a bit of fear that I will be next to receive the stomach flu and there's nothing worse than knowing that you are, that you are susceptible to this danger that's just looming around the corner. In fact, the only thing that's possibly scarier is driving 200 miles an hour in one of these Ford vehicles I saw in the film. That was a segue. I believe it was a couple years ago The Martian hit theaters, and when I left that, it was easily my favorite movie of the year, or one of them. And as I left this film yesterday, I had the same feelings. After ruminating a little bit, after things set in, uh, yeah, my initial response is absolutely correct. I loved this film. The, this is why I go to movies. You know, Char Charlie's Angels I'm going to do a movie feud on versus the 2000 version, but I'm not going to review that one. It was fine. If you like the Charlie's Angels movies of the past or the TV show or have some nostalgia there or just want to see, uh, you know, some women that are hot doing cool things and you're not a little bit bothered by the, the you know, the woke stuff in Hollywood scripts these days, uh, go check it out. It's it's it's. Otherwise, I would just wait till it's on like Netflix or something. There's there's no rush to go see this. It was a it was an entertaining enough film. Ford versus Ferrari though. This is a head to the theater, bring your whole family, uh, grab some popcorn and a soda, and sit back for two and a half hours and just be wowed. Matt Damon, Christian Bale never miss a step. They are fantastic to watch. Bale especially, I thought. You know, he's so good at just getting into these characters. Matt, Matt Damon's always kind of like your, your go-to nice guy. You know, he, he's easy to, to rally behind. But Bale, I mean, dear God, th this guy, this guy flip-flops weights like it's a 3D baseball card. James Mangold, I think, is the name of the director. He did Logan, one of my favorite movies. Uh, definitely a top 10 comic book movie for me. He, uh, God, everything about this is just, just works. The cinematography, the music, the, the way that they put you inside the driver's seat. You get that tension when the races are going. Even if you know the outcome, it's still an edge of your seat affair that you're just, you're just along for the ride on. People that know me in my show know that one thing I will harp on is often run times. You know, comedies can overstay their welcome. Even, even, you know, these dramas and stuff can run a little bit long. I've never really complained that a movie's too short, I don't think. Here, you know, we're running two and a half hours and it, it felt perfectly fine. I had no issues with the run time. So even, even longer movies can definitely work. It just, they, they have to have enough story there and there has to be enough kind of working. Uh, the, the pace never felt sluggish. It never, it never dragged. It's based on true events. I can't speak to how much of it is accurate and what's not. I assume they got the, the, the basic plots correct with Ford, you know, coming into the racing game and, and trying to become relevant again, trying to get the prestige that they once had. This is one of those movies that I think people will agree is great all across the board. I can't imagine someone going out of that film and saying, well, this isn't what I thought it would be at all. Because, you know, you have plenty of racing, there's plenty of uh, action moments. I mean, I, I think there's an entire uh, 20, 30 minutes dedicated to one race at the end. It's it's just nuts. I Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this. It's definitely a contender for my favorite of the year. And uh, you should definitely see it. It's worth the trip. Thanks for joining me in the car. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe. I have a bunch of other car side reviews and other shows in general on this channel. Uh, Movie Feuds being the, the flagship one where I go a little bit more in depth if you want to hear more. All right, until next time, take care.